Hello everyone, welcome back, I'm Meredith and today I'm going to be doing the twice a year book tag. I was actually tagged by Sasha from Sash Reads, so I'll link her channel down below and a video of hers in the cards. Go check her out, her channel is so delightful, I really love her content and she's just a really lovely person. So go check her out and I will link the original creator of this tag down below as well. These balls on your butts. So question number one is how many books do you think you'll read this year? I my goal was a hundred and I'm at nearly 70 I think so honestly possibly 200 but I think that that's a little bit scary so I'm gonna say 180. I think I can get to 180 books but you know, 200 would be cool. And if you're freaking out, I include manga and graphic novels and audiobooks in that. So it's not like physically sitting down. I will not read. Physically sit down and read 180 books. When it comes to like physical books that I sit down and read, possibly like 60 to 80, a lot of it is audio manga. You get my drift. Question number two. Have you made a specific reading goal or target that you need to check in with or keep track of? Yes. So um, at the start of the year or like end of last year, I made a goal video and my main reading goals were that I wanted to finish a bunch of series and read a bunch of books um, from authors for the first time. So I have made a, some bullet journal spreads and I have been checking those off and keeping track on it. I'm doing abysmally, but I made those goals bef when I had just started my channel. It was like one of the first sit down videos I filmed. <laughs> So honestly, I didn't realize how much my channel was going to impact my reading and it really is impacting my ability to continue on this series because I feel like that's just not content people are going to want to watch and I want to be making content that's fun and enjoyable and a lot of the time that's standalones or first books in series. So I'm really struggling to continue on this series, which was honestly like something that I worked really hard on before I had my channel. So I wasn't anticipating that that would be something that I wouldn't make a lot of progress on when I made that like a huge part of my goals. So I'm not doing great. I think I will be a little bit lenient and not harsh on myself because I wasn't expecting that to be something I'd struggle with. But there are still a few that are priorities that I would really like to finish, including Kate Daniels, the Covenant series, and the Air Awakened series, are probably like my main three that I want to finish this year. So fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, that's my main goals. In terms of like reading authors for the first time or continuing or reading more books from this author, that goal isn't going too bad. I feel like I'm doing that one okay. It's the series that I'm struggling with. Question number three is how many five star books have you read so far this year? I actually don't know. I'll have to go into Goodreads and check that out. You're tacky and I hate you. So my first five star this year was Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. This is a mafia romance and I absolutely freaking loved it and I was very shocked that I loved it that much because I wasn't expecting to like it but I did. It was amazing. Five stars. Easy. Then my second one was my favorite book so far this year which is House of Stone. Easy five stars. Absolutely love this. This I read this for my reading vlog where I read books from Zimbabwe and this is a lot about the history of Zimbabwe. It's about an unreliable narrator and it is so good. It's very dark and heavy so do check content warnings but I absolutely loved this and I highly recommend checking out that vlog if you want to hear my in-depth thoughts but yeah this is my favorite book so far this year. Easy five stars. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Pretty legendary if you ask me. Then my next one was Clara and the Sun. I loved this. It was a delight. I don't think this is a book for everybody. I think it's for a very specific niche audience. I am that specific niche audience. But I loved it. It's about a AI who is a robot and her job is to be people's friend. And she is like the ideal human being. She is a delight. She is just beautiful. She's wholesome. And because the book is in her perspective, it's written very strangely because she is a robot, but it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a little, I'm beyond words. It was so good. I loved it. Um, so yeah, this was my third five star of the year. Oh, sorry. I read that for my vlog, my 24 hour reading vlog. So I'll link that if you're wanting to hear my in-depth thoughts. Cause I, I went hard on that book. I dissected the shit out of that and I got very emotional. Then I think I've only had one more since then, which was Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. This is an age gap romance between a girl and her ex-boyfriend's dad, which was... <laughs> 
let's not talk about it, okay? I loved it. It was so good. And I have a dedicated vlog to that, so I'll link that as well if you want to hear my blubbering, messy thoughts where I went on a journey. <laughs> is so good. I love it. So yeah, I've had four or five stars this year, which is pretty good, actually. That's more than I thought. Question number four is, what's a popular book you own and haven't read yet? That's a really random question. Your beans are so random. I'm gonna go with Jade City by Fonda Lee, just because I feel like this gets so much buzz on booktube and it is very popular and I really want to read it, but I haven't read it. So this is a popular book that I haven't read yet. Um, I might do a dedicated vlog for this for um, Is It Worth the Hype? Maybe I'll get to that in June. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Question number five is, do you want to reread anything in the next few months? Birthday Girl. I want to reread Birthday Girl every single minute of every single day. <laughs> I do want to potentially, hopefully do a vlog this year where I read my favorite books from when I was a teenager. So that will be rereading. Um, and like some examples for that will be Perfect Chemistry because that was my favorite book as a teenager. Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles. I absolutely loved this and I'm so excited to reread this because I've never reread this. I've reread Perfect Chemistry like four or five times, but I've never reread this. So I'm very excited. Um, I absolutely loved this when I was a teenager. I've also got these two girlfriend fiction books, which I literally had to purchase because my library got rid of them. That's how bad these are. <laughs> <laughs> but I love these girlfriend fiction books and these were two that I remembered liking that I could find at not a super expensive price. Sorry for the change in angle and lighting. My battery went flat. So I was up to question number seven which is... No I wasn't. I was up to question number six. <laughs> what new release are you anticipating for the second half of the year? I've got too many to just mention one. So I've got one for each month for the second half of the year because I'm extra like that. So the first one is What Cells Are Made Of by Tesha Suri. This is a Wuthering Heights retelling which sounds very intriguing. I feel like that's so random but I want to read it. But I've never read Wuthering Heights so I feel like I should probably read that before I read the retelling. But anyway, I'm anticipating it. <laughs> then we have probably my most anticipated book for this year since I've heard about it, which is Carrie Soto is Back, which is Taylor Jenkins Reads a new release. And honestly, if I've ever thought a book was written for me, like I know that that's a really like obnoxious way to think, but like, you know how some people are like, this book was written for me. If there's ever a book written for me, it is this. Taylor Jenkins Reed writing about a tennis player? Get out, get out. I'm keen for this, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Then I have The Sunbearer Trials by Aidan Thomas. This sounds really fun. I read Lost in the Neverwoods by them earlier this year. I didn't love it, but I saw potential and I really still want to read Cemetery Boys, so I'm very much looking forward to the new release, but it sounds so cool. Then in October, there is Strike the Zither, which is a new release by Joan He. I really enjoyed the ones we went to find by her, which I know is an unpopular opinion, but I really liked that, so I'm very much looking forward to her new release. Then we have The Luminaries, and I purely want to read this, and I'm purely excited for this because Susan Dennard wrote the Witchland series, which is one of my favorites of all time, so I'm so excited. I actually really like the writing in The Witchlands, even though that series is super confusing and I don't understand the majority of it. I really like how it's written despite that. Makes no sense, I know, but I'm very excited for this one. And then in December, we have A Million to One by Adiba Jagada. This sounds so good, and that cover... So yeah, those are some books that I'm excited that I, for that are coming out in the second half of this year. But I will be doing a video of my anticipated releases for the second half of the year. Keep an eye out for that video and you'll get details on what those books are about. And then the last question, which is question number seven, what are you planning to pick up next? And do you think you'll rate it four stars or above? Gosh, what am I thinking of picking up next? I'm actually filming my Eurovision Athon vlog at the moment, so I'm reading books for that. So um, I've started all the Bad Apples and Uve. So I have My Titter, My Sister, but that is nonfiction. I don't really rate nonfiction, so that probably won't be a five star because I'm not going to rate it. But I feel like that's going to be really good. And I have Chloe Brown. Not sure how I'm going to rate that because I'm pretty rough with my five stars for romances, but I do anticipate I'll enjoy it. Yeah, that is the tag. So who will I tag?
yeah thank you so much for being here i really hope that you enjoyed definitely let me know in the comments some books that you're looking forward to that are coming out next year some books you've given five stars let's chat in the comments but yeah hopefully i will see you in the next video but until then bye